Good day and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the price action of Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin setting up to make a move sometime in the near future? Whether that move comes to the upside or the downside, I'm going to pull up the chart and I'll show you some price levels that I'm paying attention to. Let's get into it. And here we have Bitcoin up on the daily chart. And at the time of recording, we do see Bitcoin uh, continuing to pull back here and trying its best to find support here on the 21 exponential moving average. You know, if Bitcoin is able to stick a pivot point in here, we will have another higher low as opposed to back here and here as well, which would be implying the bear market rally could, could very easily continue at that point in time. And I do think that would initiate a test back up to this horizontal here, coming in around the uh, 24,705 mark. Of course, if Bitcoin begins to break up above that level, that's when I think we can extend targets uh, all the way into the deep uh, 20,000s, likely to fill the gap on the CMEs there. If we come into the uh, shorter term time frame here, let's have a quick look at the four hour. We see a little bit of pressure implied on the four hour for the absolute short term here. We do see the 89 exponential moving average acting as support, at least for the time being, getting stabbed over and over and over again with these wicks. But so far, no candle body closures down below that level. If we toggle down to the RSI here, we see that the RSI is technically angled to the upside, the neutral zone, but we do see the EMA still with a negative slope to the downside. Not much to go by here on the RSI, at least at the time of recording. Stochastic down below is uh, implying some pressure down, at least on the very short term here as it is re-entering into the bearish control zone but you know the longer this goes on with price action drifting to the side here the more this is going to likely set itself up for a, a bullish posturing so we'll have to see if bitcoin can maintain these levels on the short term let's quickly check out the 12 hour here what do we see on the 12 we see a little bit of pressure to the downside here as well. We do see the 10 and 21 beginning to angle to the downside here as uh, some candle bodies are, be are beginning to close below that 89. But so far, the sellers haven't... Uh at least at the time of recording, they haven't stepped in driving price action down. So again, we'll just have to hold our breath, see what happens here. But at the end of the day, the big thing is, is if Bitcoin manages to stick in a higher low, whether that's here and now, or, you know, as long as it comes in as a higher low, as opposed to this pivot point, and that would keep this uh, bear market structure still intact. If we do lose this pivot point here, so if we start uh, closing down below the $20,700 mark, then likely over time, we could see, uh, we could see a test down to this horizontal here somewhere in the uh, upper 18,000s. Of course, being that this is a daily chart, it would likely take some time for that to play out. But as of right now, Bitcoin is holding on. If it can scoop itself back up here, then uh, we might get another attempt to the upside here, at least... Um at least for the bear market rally to continue. Anyway, that's what I'm seeing right now. Things have been relatively quiet since I brought you that last update, but let's see what happens coming into the weekend and let's see if Bitcoin can set up for a greater move next week, whether that's up or down. Hopefully the market will reveal itself to us at that point in time. Thanks so much for popping by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.